Did anyone in our audience, Steve, have the Wyatt Six have a not Wyatt Six question for Kev? Not formed in, not listed in the form of a question. You want to plant one? Tell Britt exactly what you want the question to be. What her type is? No, I think you could just. I think you could just say, hey, Nash, before Ask Nash, you told me to mention the Wyatt Six. Yeah, no, I will, but I didn't want, if somebody yeah, yeah. had one, I didn't oh, yeah, want to right. step like, on theirs. I'd rather they ask it, yeah. No, yeah, you painted me a VHS before the podcast started, and I was sitting there looking at me <laughs> asking about the Wyatt Six. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't I just don't, like that whole thing with Gable running around and running yeah. into, it, and then just felt so contrived. The, but then again, how could it not? It, it's an athletic competition show, so that is going to be a complete outlier anyway. Right. But, you see, like with Taker, the end game was always him coming out to put someone in a fucking body bag at the end of the match. This is almost happening independent of competition. But, and here's the crazy thing, and I guess this is why they're going with it. I like it. I shouldn't, but I do. Oh, I'm not saying I don't I, know where it's going to go. Yeah, I don't know where it's going to go, but I'm not shitting on it. I didn't, I'm bringing it up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to start with it after the. The hooky, you know, the hooky, like supernatural floating shit. And they just, it, once, yeah. once they start wrestling. It... Bray was, when he did that upside down thing and crawled at you, that was just. That was so crazy. That was yeah, so good. He didn't, to me, he didn't need the fiend. Right. He was like. No. Like, right. That actually took away from him. And the um, kid, I was actually at the, it was, I don't know what pay-per-view it was. But the John Cena one with the whole world in his hands. It, it, the one in Jersey? Was that in yeah. Jersey? Because I was in Hornswoggle seats. I barely fit. And seeing it live didn't detract at all. Because mm-hmm. like when you can control the camera, you can make it feel like anything. But the house felt like that too. So I just, they, that particular thing, they always fucking did a great job with. Well, and I also, agree I, with you. The Fiend is when it got a little. Because the Fiend was more theatrical, whereas I thought what made the Wyatt so terrifying was that they, it was just their, it was just Bray Wyatt's influence. Yeah. He didn't, he couldn't control the lights he didn't know a sound guy. He can't shoot fire. He's right. just so influential that this many people go along with him. And light it up with their phones. Literally, yeah. the crowd is with him. I tweeted long ago about this that I was like, if the Wyatts were actually a cult, we would all be really upset at how many people joined. The thing was, too, like I was there when he wrestled Taker for the streak at, in, at the Cowboy Stadium. And there was like it was under the amount. Mm. I could I, I could probably put in my Mustang the amount of people that didn't have a phone in their hand. Yeah. It was just un, and that was the time. If there was ever a time to end the streak, that was the night. He was the guy. He was the one that you would have given the rub to. I I agree. I think if I'm trying to remember, I think that was San Jose. And then it was the year after. So even worse, Lesnar had already done it. And then they put Wyatt out there just to lose, just yeah, to lose, to try to give credibility to the streak. Yeah. And it killed him. Yeah. Killed Bray. He never, he, he just... right, well, we'll fuck off. And... So since yeah. we're in it and we can just roll here, yeah, I'm Kev, just gonna... where would you go right. with it? We want to put some of that shit in anyway, so just leave it. So that's the thing, Kev. We love it. It's effective and all that stuff. But now your job as the writer would be now to connect this to pinfalls at some point. Uh, first, first question, do you have the talent to do it? Are these the right guys and gal that we have to do it? I don't know who's in that mix. I know Bo is. He'll be he'll be the the center point, obviously. Uh, but and then the second question is, how do we make it about a contest again? How do you make it about wrestling? Well, what if he, what, what if I don't know? It's a, when you have a when you have somebody that when you're talking about Bray Law, Bray's not with us. Mm-hmm. So that whole that 
that that's where to me it becomes like when I watch I become emotional because it's just I I, I know what his mm. his family it's just like that it's so forever going to be connected fear. to him yeah right no yeah. matter what it's going to be it's a downer and it's but at the same time it's interesting and I there's a, I know that there's a connection between Bo and his brother through this. It's just, I just, it has to play out. It's just, man, it's thin ice. Yeah. Thin ice. We'll see We'll see where it goes. Yeah. No, it's, I, and Bo was, ta- Bo could go, man. He was a talent. Mm-hmm. And he just got lost in the shuffle like a lot of people do, but. Yeah. 